Hello, it's artist Daniel Below. Today I'll show you how to make a canvas on a hardboard like this. I learned how to do this from my teacher, Daniel Alexeyevich Timoshenko. The advantage of a handmade canvas in comparison with a bought one is that first, you can choose a canvas you like more. Second, if you do this right, the canvas will never curve like this. Third, it's a pleasure for you to work on such thing. What you'll need? First, a hardboard. The former, the better. Second, some ordinary writing paper, cut to size slightly smaller than your hardboard. This is needed to leave small borders on each side of the board. And third, you'll need the canvas cut to a size slightly smaller than your hardboard. You'll also need some glue, PVA, polyvinyl acetate, super, or try some other good quality PVA type and PVA super diluted by half moon water. First, we take the writing paper and coat it with a diluted PVA. After we do this, we should leave the paper for a couple of minutes, so it becomes soaked with glue. If you will not do this, then the paper will wrinkle after sticking it on the hardboard. After the paper is soaked with the glue, we take our hardboard and coat it with the diluted PVA. We place our paper on the board and smooth it out from the center to the sides at first. And then from the center to the corners. Turn the hardboard and coat it with the undiluted PVA. And place the canvas on the hardboard. Smooth it from the center to the sides at first. Then from the center to the corners. After you have glued the canvas, you should take some ordinary writing paper and then put the hardboard with the glued paper side down side on the new sheet of paper. And then on the canvas you place another piece of writing paper. Finally you cover it with a weight. Why do you need to glue the paper on the back side of the hardboard? It prevents the hardware from curving, because the paper will pull it in one direction and the glued canvas will pull it in the opposite direction from the other side. They will compensate for each other. Furthermore, imagine that we glued one more canvas on the hardware. We take away our weight and place another sheet of writing paper and we put the new hardboard on the pile, with the canvas facing down, not up, like this. And we cover the paper on the other side with another one sheet of writing paper.
That means you get a pile like this, in which a canvas faces a canvas and a paper faces a paper. Then we cover the pile with the weight and then we leave everything for 24 hours to dry. Imagine that 24 hours have passed already. We take away the weight and then we take away all the paper which we've put between the hardboards. You can save it and to draw something on it. We place new paper sheets between the hardboards, keeping the sequence of canvas to canvas, paper to paper. and leave this to dry till we go on to there. Subscribe to my channel, open the next lesson right now and become my patron at patreon.com so that I can shoot more videos.